Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Comic Wasteland. As always, I'm Joe. Let's catch up with our two most watched episodes. Let's follow up with I Hate Fairyland and Sex Criminals, both from Image Comics. <laughs> So let's start with I Hate Fairyland. So in number 10, 100 years from now, uh, Duncan Dragon ends up being like a full-blown like Godzilla Kaiju, just like everything in sight. Before the world is destroyed, uh, Larry, who's like ascended to like Gandalf level, sends Gert back to the present to try to, you know, get her to avoid all this from happening thing is Gert being Gert you pretty much can see how this is all gonna end so future Gert draws diagrams draws all over the walls on the floor you know making all these different graphs and she makes this as basic as can be for present-day Gert and sure enough present-day Gert still manages to fuck shit up because future Gert ends up getting erased from the timeline but in number 11 Gert ends up going to Dungeon Fest Expo Con which is pretty much, uh, you know, a, a stand-in for, like, Comic-Con, I guess, in Fairyland. And she pretty much has the typical Comic-Con experience. She's online to meet her, you know, the person she, she's looked up to, her favorite celebrity, if you will, Gwag. And um, in typical Comic-Con fashion, the lines are ridiculous. You know, um, they're, they're not moving. There's vendors all over the place that easily distract you from, from where you have to be. So when Gert finally does get on the line, she's bought a ton of stuff. Um, she accidentally, in, well, about as inadvertent as stuff that Gert does can be, she, like, uh, takes out everyone who's on the line in front of her. So she ends up meeting Gwag, and she's, like, totally fangirling over her. And uh, Gwag has, like, two executioners, who are, like, her bodyguards, I guess, her, her minions. And they're just basically like like stamping, you know, uh, Gwag's uh, signature onto like the photo and charging money for it. And Gert's like, you know, what the hell? Gert rips his tongues out. Gwag hits uh, Gert with the shuriken uppercut that sends uh, Gert all the way across the, uh, to the other end of the convention center where this uh, con is taking place. That's where she ends up meeting Maddie. Maddie is Gert's biggest fan. Basically, she fangirls on Gert the way Gert was just doing it to Gwag and at first Gert is just as dismissive as Gwag was to her. They start to bond and then Maddie becomes just as overly ridiculous and obnoxious as Gert is but then the thing is Gwag loves Maddie <laughs> and that basically kills Gert on the inside so she ends up having this long talk with, with Maddie and Maddie actually has gives her like this epiphany of you know if you want to change your life you you just gotta draw the line on the sand and go for it. So Gert's like, oh my god, she's like, I'm gonna you know change things for the better. Then she proceeds to throw Maddie off of a cliff. So and then in our newest issue number twelve, Gert basically is on the road to redemption, saving a kidnapped child from the Shiitake village, like samurais that are you know giant, like a. Uh, Toadstools, which which is actually one of the funnier aspects of this issue because the whole samurai, what, what makes a samurai, what makes a ninja thing, to the common person, I guess, you know, they don't really see a much of a difference between a ninja and a samurai. They kind of group them together, and 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 this issue kind of plays on that, where Gert thinks she's you know being ninja-like, and Larry has to keep on correcting her, you're being like a samurai. <laughs> Gert is trying to get this child back from the shiitake. And the shiitake like, you know, you don't know what you're, what you're doing, you know, stand down, you know, and sure enough, oh, before they get into the big battle, they had this whole back and forth, which has to be one of the most sexual innuendo lace conversations I think I ever read in a comic. <laughs> Only because Gert is blissfully ignorant to what she is saying. <laughs> Maybe not blissfully, but yes, Gert is like so ignorant to how perverted the stuff she says sounds. And the Shiitake's like, you know, he, he's just offended at this point where it's like, you know, I thought, you, you know, you would take this seriously. And so they end up fighting. And of course, Gert just annihilates everyone. But um, everything is not as it seems. And let's just say the Shiitake was right. I am one of Scotty Young's 
biggest fans. At least I consider myself. Um, like I said, the man's art is just ridiculously good. And Jean-Francois, I don't want to butcher his last name, but the man knows how to color. Oh my God, this, this, this dude knows his stuff when it comes to coloring. And it's just a, such a perfect fit with Scotty's art. I, I cannot recommend this book enough. If you love fantasy, if you love over-the-top violence, if you love, you know, if you love uh, imperfect uh, protagonists, I mean, you know, this this comic really does have it all. If you those, if that's what you're looking for. I love the fantasy aspect. I love the mature level of violence, but the juvenile level of comedy. That I really hope this book goes on for a long time, even to a point maybe we we, we where we catch up. To see if Gert actually changes the future. But yeah, guys, definitely check out I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young and Jean-Francois Boulot. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if it's not. Friends, please do me a favor and go follow Miss Comica over on your Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Besides being ridiculously awesome, she's also one of the first friends I've made doing this. And I can't say enough nice things about her besides being into a lot of the same stuff I'm into, especially Doom Patrol. She may be the only person who's into Doom Patrol more than I am. She also re reviews and covers a lot of comics I'm not necessarily into. So, I mean, she really does help expand my comic horizons and hopefully she can help expand yours. Guys, please go check her out. Thanks.